the Dream League Soccer subreddit. I'm surprised I haven't actually gone here yet. The mobile soccer game from First Touch Games for iOS and Android. Nothing else special about this game other than it's a mobile soccer game. It's got 2,000 members and 27 online right now. And look at FIFA Mobile's uh, subreddit. They've got 11.5 thousand members. How is this possible? Anyway, the point of this video is not to show that Dreamlink Soccer has less members than FIFA Mobile on Reddit. It's that, well, there's filters on this subreddit. And one of them caught my eye. There is a whole filter based on rant. This has got to be good. So let's read what some angry people have to say about this game and then laugh at them. Okay, why is multiplayer so rigged? Like, I can't even get matched with an equal level opponent. This is getting really annoying. Can't even enjoy a single multiplayer game because people just beating my whole team with speed and other high stat. I kind of have a feeling that online's a little bit rigged, but definitely not in this way. Um, so, haha. <laughs> Ha, I laugh at you. <laughs> you don't have full max team, I do, haha. <laughs> the game's been out for a while. You're gonna face people with fully max teams. That's just the way it is. But in Dreamlink Soccer, people with low rated teams can easily be people with max teams if they're just better than them. So, I mean, just, just get good, kid. <laughs> this guy from Turkey abused the paw system and ran the clock all the match. The worst type of player. I love how you had to mention he's from Turkey, like, Everyone from Turkey does this? Obviously not. Wow, this post has a lot of comments. Let's see what they say. This guy paused the game after playing a long pass when my defender and his forward were fighting to get the ball. Oh my god. This guy's mad over just hold C? Of course my defender lost focus after that because of the poopy coding for defenders and they just homed onto the ball and scored. Wow, some nice just hold C comments right here. Then he spammed the shh and cry laugh emojis all match! No, how dare you do that! In the end, I kept the ball in my penalty area and didn't let him touch the ball again. Didn't give him the satisfaction of a forfeit. Absolute bad lad. This guy injured three of my players within 30 minutes. I only have three subs. Well, that's when you gotta start retaliating, man. You complaining about that? Just looks like you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm just joking. I'm. I feel like I've always been on the side with like the, the pink side, not the black side of the player. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on that side of the black side without at least winning, I think. Why do crucial 90th minute shots never go in? Wow, I'm getting flashbacks right now. One life left, should be two because I got disconnected from one. Been there. Eight out of nine wins. 90th minute, 1v1 versus Ter Stegen. Caputo shoots right at Ter Stegen, I lose the next match, and I still have 900 coins instead of five. Oh, this was in the midweek challenge? Oh my gosh. I've got no more ads, so it's gonna take me about four to five seasons to raise all that money to get to, into the diamond division. You know, if we got coins for selling players in the final league position, like we used to, I wouldn't be broke. I mean, you get gems from the final league position, and uh, you can just spend it on a commercial facility and get coins that way. Or you can just not choke the win. <laughs> I should probably stop being mean to these people on Reddit. I'm sorry. But yeah, I know that, that definitely sucks. Like, right, you lose out on 5,000 coins because you couldn't, like, you, you, you couldn't finish, like, a 1v1 uh, on, like, at the end, at the 90th minute to clutch the win. But I mean, that's just the game, right? Um, I guess that's the, what a rant is, huh? But I gotta put myself in this person's shoes. Like, it does suck. All right, that you don't have enough coins to upgrade your stadium and buy players and all that stuff to get through the career mode divisions. I got my fully max team when there was video ads and there was like almost unlimited of them. I could watch so many and, then they, and until they updated it and then cut you off more and more with the more updates. So if you're starting out the game now, it's so hard to get coins when it was so easy when I was starting out back in January. So, I mean, I, I'm sorry, dude. That's, that's, that's rough. See, I knew I mentioned this in the in the in the midweek challenge. Exactly. What? <laughs> There's literally like barely any players from Germany. Good thing I had Tony Cruz so I could have participate in the 5,000 coin event. But like, yeah, let's see what people are saying. Last time it was from Spain, but yeah, you can rarely get anyone from Germany. It's so ridiculous. The Bundesliga in the game. Exactly. I absolutely hate how phone calls just cut off any form of internet connection. Lol. I legit just lost three games in a row because of receiving phone calls. Oh, what fun. First comment, 
Turn on do not disturb. Quick fix. It's like that. On the verge of uninstalling the game. Okay, this is gonna be juicy. Been playing this game since DLS 2019, but mostly career mode because of slow internet. Ventured into online games and reached the tier 12 easily. Then came disappointment after disappointments. Are you sure this isn't just me? My squad is not max players. Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I keep losing even if I have better passes and gameplay because of three types of frustrating players. The first being the one with max players who just pass the ball nowhere up front and the front three gonna run like the flash with no hope to catch them. And you know the usual DLS problem of defenders not tracking their run. The second type of players include the ones with long range shooting! <laughs> That's me baby! When you defend so good at one point you scream you shall not pass. The opponent basically just shoots from distance since they know they cannot pass and 100% of the time all the ridiculous long range shots turn into goals. I'm, tell I'm telling you, this, this, this works. Like, I don't understand why you just don't mimic this. The third type, last but not least, are what I call sliders. Okay, this is interesting. They keep doing all these slow slide tackles everywhere. Defensive, midfield, even attacks. And the frustrating part is that some games, they get so lucky that are they aren't even awarded a yellow for all the ridiculous tackles throughout the game. But my player gets sent off with the simple tackles. Wow, these simple things just make me an inch closer to destroying my iPad. And also when it's uninstalling the game, remember you mentioned that? So what type of player are you? Why don't you just become one of these players? Like if you wanna get good, just become one of them. If you can't beat them, join them, right? That's what I was doing. Don't play online then, problem solved. I'm not saying don't play online. I'm saying just become one of them, okay? Ooh, and then the guy who makes a post retaliates. What a clever idea. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Boo hoo. I guess I will stick to FIFA where all players are rated equal. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Wait, so you meet a player who does all three in a game? <laughs> this guy put rant in brackets in the title. You know it's gonna be good. Another clown ruins the online experience. <laughs> where have I seen this before? I'm sure many of you have seen this story before. It's a good evenly matched and competitive game and I go into halftime to, or 2-1 down. I see where this is going. What does this idiot do next? Spend the entire half passing it around between his back three and keeper while deliberately booting into back to his corners to chew up the extra time without giving me an opportunity to even touch the ball. I mean, what's the point? What, what have you proven? That you will not shove a virtual win on a virtual game of football in the quest for fake coins and gems, grow up and play the game properly. This only happened to me once because I don't lose. <laughs> this only ever happened to me once because I'm never behind at halftime. <laughs> really, there's really nothing you can do about this other than just start injuring their players. Just like start slide tackling them. And then, I mean, you get red cards, you get yellow cards, but at least you have a chance of them injuring them and then maybe they'll stop. That, that's what someone told me in the comments on that video. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Well, uh, if you want to see more Reddit videos like this, leave a like. A lot of people always say this game needs more improvement, but just just remember, it's a mobile game, and it's really hard to make adjustments and stuff. It can't be the perfect game ever. Yeah, we had some fun looking at some other people's problems in the game. I mean, I fixed, like, a lot of them, I would say, the majority. Like, come on. Yo, hire me as your Dream League soccer coach. I got you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video.